Hello everybody, it is me, Jones on J here. And yes guys, for those of you who have been watching me for a long time, you probably have seen in all my update videos that I was working on a major surprise series that I was going to be doing for my YouTube channel. And I can't believe it, but after one year of hard work, I finally managed to get this series started. And, uh, why does it have to start raining as soon as I start the video? But yeah, let's go ahead and clear the weather real quick. So yeah, guys, as you can tell by the title, the surprise series that I'm going to be doing is called Let's Build a City. For the longest time, ever since I started playing Minecraft back in 2012, I... I've just grown to really love the game, especially in creative mode, and I just really love, like, architecture and stuff. So I figured, you know what, why not get started and build a city, and what better way to do that with my YouTube channel, that I could do a series and build with you guys. So in the series, we'll be building lots of things for the city, um, maybe I'll do, like, tutorials on things I build, and it's just overall something I can do with you guys that could be a lot of fun. So, yeah, guys, um... As you can tell by the title of this video, I decided to start out the city by building the International Airport. Because, well, number one, this project would take forever to build. And number two, uh, well, every city needs some kind of form of transportation. So, yeah, I figured why not start off by building the International Airport. And this airport took me one year to build. It was just insane. But I worked really hard, so I really hope you guys like it. So, let, time for the big reveal. Let's just turn around. You can already see some trees down there. Here's a highway. And, well, you can't see it. Let me go ahead and turn on the, turn up the render distance. Let's, I don't know, turn it up to 25 chunks, I guess, should be good. And, yep, you can see there's the air traffic control tower. So yeah guys, this airport, it took me forever to build, it took me one year, a full year to build. I started building this about this time last summer, and I finally just finished it today. So, yeah, as you can see I've done like the highway, this will be the highway that eventually leads into the city when you keep driving that way. And then these are like the little like exit ramps you take to get into the airport. So yeah, let's say we're driving on, so... As you can see, I guess the way to start this is to start from like, as if we were driving on the highway to get into the airport. So as you can see right here, I've got, I mean, this is the best I could do for like an exit sign. I mean, unfortunately in Minecraft, you can't get to like more detail in just a block. So as you can see, you have exit for Greenville International Airport, and then the arrow pointing right. So yeah, as you can guys can also tell, this city that we are going to be creating is called Greenville. I, I thought a while about some good names for the city, and I figured Greenville would be a good name. So as you can see, exit 4, we take this little exit ramp. So if we go up here, cross over the highway, and then we will start heading over to the airport. Now, for those guys wondering, like I said, I started playing Minecraft back in 2012, so a lot of you guys might be wondering why I haven't started this um, why I haven't started like a Let's Play series sooner, and that is because number one, I did not have my YouTube channel a while back, and number two, I kept trying to start it once I created my YouTube channel, but I just kept failing. I didn't really get a good like series going, so I just decided to just this time I would work extra hard, start on the airport, try and do as much detail as I can. So yeah, anyway, guys, back to so this is the exit ramp. Once you drive over and drive. On here, as you can see right here, it says airport parking garage, you keep it in this lane, and then you use these two lanes to go to all your, all your arriving and departing flights. So I mean, I guess first off, let's just go straight and take a look at the parking garage because it's pretty boring. So as you can see, <laughs> move over here, and we've got a pretty generic parking garage, it's two floors you can see right here, and then you can take the ramp up to go to the second floor. So yeah, Pocket Garage is pretty generic, we don't really need to spend too much time looking at that. So yeah, so that way is to get into the parking garage, and then you can also exit and go this way. But yeah, so then what happens is if you keep right, you'll head towards where you can go for the arriving and departing flights. So follow the highway this way. And then just like most airports, I decided to do two levels where if you keep left for the bottom level, that would be the arrivals. So that's where you pick up people who are arriving in the airport. 
And then right here I have the portals, this is where you go to drop off people. So, I guess we'll just pretend we're going to the airport, so let's follow the portals. So, as you can see, the portals goes up here, it goes up a little ramp. And we go over here into the second floor of the airport. So as you can see right here, because of the departures floor, I have the different airlines. So as you can see, I have American Airlines, Delta Airlines, Air Canada, Emirate Airlines. And then if you go down a little further, we've got um, we've got Southwest, we've got JetBlue, we've got Spirit Airlines, and we've got Frontier Airlines. I just looked up like a list of like airlines in the U.S. And oh my gosh, I guess... I didn't even realize this. It looks like the maybe there was some bad weather and it destroyed some of the. Oh my gosh, the stupid rain! I swear this game keeps raining so much. Like, like the amount of times I had to clear the weather in this game was just is just ridiculous. But yeah, as you can see, the parking garage is right next to here. So let's say you parked here, you could just simply walk across the road to get into the airport. So, hmm, let's, I don't know, let's pretend we're flying American Airlines, so let's go all the way back to here, so as you can see, this is American Airlines, so I can be dropped off right here, so let's go ahead and go inside the airport, so as you can see, here's like a little simple but cool carpet design I've done, and as you can see right here, I kind of did like, in the background, I tried to do like the airline logo, so as you can see, American Airlines, check-in desk is right here, got Delta right here, that's supposed to be like the aero, for Delta Airlines, then Air Canada, I can't really do, like, the Canadian Leaf, so I guess that's the best I could do, I mean, because, like, in Minecraft, like, I need a lot more space than that to do the full Canadian Leaf, and then right here, I've got Emirate Airlines, and I just did the United Arab Emirates flag right there, and then, oh, oops, then if we go all the way over here, once again, Southwest Airlines checking desk here, uh, JetBlue uh, check-in desk here, Spirit check-in desk there, and Frontier Airlines check-in desk there. So let's go ahead and go all the way back over here. As you can see, so let's pretend, hey, I just checked in, got my ticket, blah, blah, blah. So where do I go now? So, well, I go back this way. And as you can see, this is one of my favorite parts of the airport. I think I did a good job on it, and that is the atrium. As you can see right here, there's a downstairs level right here, that's the... Uh, that's the arriving flight level and as you can see I have this massive atrium this is actually a hotel which we will take a look at in just a second as you can see I've done like little like plants and stuff these are like elevators or at least close thing you can get to elevators in Minecraft and yeah the, I, I really love the way the atrium turned out I, I tried to go for a very similar theme as in if you've ever been to the Orlando International Airport there's like a Hyatt in the main terminal and there's like a main atrium. I tried to go for a similar theme in that, but obviously doing like my own design. So yeah, as you can see if we go straight you can see right there is security, but before we check that out, if we turn right, right here is the hotel, so it's a Hilton because well I just I just decided to make it a Hilton because we are Hilton Diamond members, so I figured why not just do a Hilton hotel for the airport. So if we walk into the Hilton airport, we've got a little waiting area, check in desk right here. Um, over here we've got more seats and stuff, but here we've got an indoor pool, um, pretty small indoor pool, it does have a diving board as you can see right here, you can jump in, wee, <laughs> uh, nice windows to look out, and yeah, just a simple little small hotel pool I built right there, let's go ahead and shut the door, um, and then right over here we have the elevators for the hotel, so let's go ahead and we're going to go all the way up to one of the higher floors, so we can, because pretty much all these floors are pretty much the same thing. They all have rooms on them. So, uh, yeah, let's go right here. Let's go to, uh, what floor is this? This floor six. Uh, so as you can see right here, we've got, the, this floor actually has executive suites. And then the floors, bef the floors below it have smaller rooms. These are the bigger rooms. So as you can see, there's only like one room in each corner of the, and it's already turning dark. Man, I don't want it to turn dark, but set it back today. But yeah, so let's just go ahead and take a look at one of these rooms. So here's room number 601. So then right over here, we just have a simple little bathroom. We've got a toilet and a sink. Um, then right here, this is supposed to be a crafting table. I'm using a texture pack. I, I probably should have explained this before I started the video. But yeah, for those guys wondering, I'm using a texture pack called the Greenfield Texture Pack. I think it's a really good texture pack for cities 
it was it's actually used for a city called Greenfield, which you can download on Planet Minecraft. It's a pretty cool city, and I really like the look of the texture pack, so I decided to use it for my own city as well. But yeah, anyway, I got a little mini kitchen for the hotel. We've got a decent sized TV. And then we've got a king-sized bed right here, and a nice view out. You can see over there is the highway where we just came from. And you can even see some of the planes over there, which we'll be, we'll be getting over there in just a minute. <laughs> but yeah, so that's pretty much what the executive rooms look like. The, well, actually, you know what, I'll, I'll drop down a floor. So yeah, these are the regular rooms. As you can see, there's two in each corner. You can see just a little bit more cramped. We got this bath, same bathroom. Uh, bed, TV, just a little bit more cramped just cause we, if you looked at the floor plan I kinda ran out of room for big rooms but yeah anyway if we actually go all the way up to floor 7 which let's go and do that right now I just I really love the way these elevators look I, I think I did a good job uh, so yeah here we go we're on the top floor so if we go to the top floor on each side of the hotel there are these oh, are you kidding me why is it raining I literally just cleared rain a few minutes ago but yeah, <laughs> anyway, so then up here we've got some outdoor pools and some areas where you can lounge and chillax. And I also have the same thing on the other side of the hotel. If I go right over here, you can see about the same thing over there. So yeah, and then you can see right here is the little like sky window from <laughs> the atrium in the middle. So yeah okay let's go ahead we're not gonna take the elevator down let's just go ahead and jump all the way down here ah, I, I just broke both of my legs I can't continue the tour <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> so yeah anyway we'll get we'll go down there in just a minute but so let's say we just checked in um, it's time to go through security so yeah as you can see right here we've got two lines so kinda got some little fencing here to keep everything organized and uh... So yeah, here are the metal detectors, and then right here I have walking uh, little baggage scanners, or at least the closest thing I could get. So, I don't know, let's just say I'm just an average ordinary traveler. You know, everybody brings gray and yellow wool on their travels, so let's go ahead and get it scanned. So it's gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in, into the minecart, and let's click this button to send it through the metal detector. And now let's go ahead and walk through the human metal detector. And it uh, looks like we passed through just fine, no problems. Let's grab our, uh, the minecarts right here, we can go ahead and grab our stuff, and then press this button to send it back to the next person. So yeah, a little pretty cool security area. So then right here we've got little like benches where you can like put on back on your shoes for if you had to like take off your shoes for security. And then right over here we've got a little um, arrivals and departures board, so I decided to make eight gates at this international airport. So as you can see we've got Delta Airlines. Um, Got some Delta American Airlines, as you can see, just just like a simple little um, arrivals and departures board, and as you can see, it just has the gate number, the airline, the destination, the time, and if it's like on time or delayed or whatnot. So, yeah, I, I do have a bunch of these scattered all throughout the airport, which you'll see as we tour it more often. So as you can see, if we go right over here, we've got this little, a slow smaller atrium right here. So as you can see, gates 1 through 4 if you go left, and gates 5 through 8 if you go right. So let's go left first. So pretty much the pattern of this airport is on the right side of all of the gates. As you can see right here, we've got gate 4. Um, pretty much every gate is the same. We've got some seating areas where you can wait for the planes. And then as you can see right here, it looks like it's American Airlines flight number 987 going to Chicago. So then when you're ready to board the plane, you just enter through the little gateway tunnel I don't know what these are I think they're just called like the gate tunnels not sure and let's go ahead and walk onto the plane so as you can see to the left we've got the cockpit right here <laughs> this is about the best I feel like I could do with Minecraft if you guys want me to do a tutorial on these planes um, I would be more than happy to and then right here we've got a little seating area and something I really like that's cool is if we sit down here we can actually Oh, oops. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work as well in the newer Minecraft updates. In the older Minecraft updates, you used to be able to, like, stand here and the tray tables, and these would work as, like, tray tables, but I guess in Minecraft 1.14, it doesn't do that anymore. But yeah, as you can see, these are supposed to be, like, tray tables that you can flip up and down. Then up here are, like, the little shelves so you can put your luggage and stuff. And then, of course, all the way in the back, I have, like, the mini little kitchen where they, they can prepare, like, the snacks and stuff. 
And of course I had to include a bathroom because airplanes do have- Oh, oops! I didn't mean to destroy that lever, but yeah, airplanes do have bathrooms, so <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and go outside real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and open up one of these doors, and I'll go ahead and show you what this plane looks like. So this is just like a standard, like, I don't know, like an Airbus A320 or like a Boeing 737, just that kind of a plane design. You can see I've got, I put the chocolates on it. I tried my best to do the American Airlines logo, and as you can see, you can see like back there, there are some Delta planes, there's a Southwest plane, Air Canada, you can see the Emirate Airlines. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead, and, as you can see over there, I actually did a Boeing 737, or a 747, whatever that plane's called, with the hump. And then over there, that Emirates Airline plane is an Airbus A380, so both of those are double-decker planes, which we will just go ahead and over there and take a look. At. But yeah, okay, without further ado, let's go back in here, and let's go back into the airport. I'm sorry if I'm, like, rushing this tour, there's just, like, so much to cover, so hope you guys like it. So, pretty much all the gates on this side are pretty much the same, so I'm not gonna really show that. These right here are supposed to be, like, the little hydro floors, so, like, when you, like, step on here and they, like, move you forward, they're kind of, like, horizontal escalators, and how is it already raining? This is so dumb, I hate all this rain. Anyway, I also have like some skylights up here. Actually, the design of these skylights is actually inspired by the my local mall, the Christiana Mall in Newark, Delaware. Um, they have like skylights that are similar design to this, so I figured I think this would look really epic at an airport. So, yeah. So on the left side, I have the different stores. So for like I have like different shops and like restaurants and stuff. So. Don't ask me why, but I did put an Apple store in here, as you can see. This is like the best I could do for like iPads and phones. Yes, I know, it's really bad. Then right here, this is supposed to be the Genius Bar, and these are like supposed to be the screens. And then over here, these are supposed to be like the laptops and the computers. This is the best I could do in Minecraft, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. And then right here, I have like, oh, I actually have to update these signs. I, I did these signs before they came out with the 10s and the, all that stuff, so. Yeah, the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10 are not the newest iPhones anymore. I have to replace this with the iPhone 10s and the iPhone 10R. But yeah, these are supposed to be like the little like advertisements. So yeah, just a tiny cute little Apple store in case if somebody is like at the airport waiting for the flight and they have like an issue with their phone, they can come here. Like that kind of a thing. So yeah, then over here I have an Outback Steakhouse. So this is just like a standard like steakhouse kind of place. Please be, please wait to be seated. Um, we've got plenty of booths around here, and then back here is the kitchen. So, yeah, that's Outback. Um, once again, I've got another arrivals and departures board. I, I've got plenty of these scattered all around the airport, and they all display the same thing. This took a lot of time to type, but. <laughs> It was worth it. I think the airport, I think I made did a good job making this realistic. Then of course I also have a bathroom scattered around the airport. So we've got men and women. So of course in the men's room we've got um, sinks. We've got your s typical stalls with toilets. I know amazing toilet design in Minecraft. And then we've got our urinals because it's the men's room. And then if we go into the women's room, it's obviously the same thing just without the urinals. So yeah, enough of seeing bathrooms. We don't need to. Look at the bathrooms. <laughs> so then, yeah, right here, I decided to do a McDonald's. Now, I actually do, have never been to McDonald's, and I never plan to. I'm not really a fan of fast food, and I've heard plenty of horror stories about the food here. I, I would never, ever want to go to McDonald's. It's just, it just looks gross. I'm sorry, but I, I had to build one just because, like, every single major airport has one, so I have to keep this realistic, but I would never go to McDonald's. <laughs> But yeah, I do have some tables in here. I got a simple little menu. You've got McDouble. I don't even. I don't even know like what stuff they. I mean, I know that they have a lot of Mick in the like menu items. So I just did like McDouble hamburger and cheeseburger, McNuggets, chicken sandwich, Happy Meal, French fries, salads, small drink. I don't even know. I I just had to. I just guess because like I said, I've ne I've never actually been to McDonald's, and probably never will, because <laughs> I do not want to go there. <laughs> If I have to eat fast food, I'd rather eat at like Panera or Chick Fil A or something like that. Anyway, right here I've, I've kind of made I just made this up nylon bar and grill. So once again, a more formal uh, got a little bar right here with all the brewing stands. 
And we've also got some tables here for if people just want to eat regular food. So, yeah, this is kind of more of like a formal type of restaurant, I guess. So, yeah. Then over here, we actually have a bookstore newsstand. We've got Ollie's Bookstore and Newsstand. I don't know how I came up with Ollie's, but don't ask me. I just did. <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah, just a simple little bookstore newsstand, kind of like a place where you can pick up like newspapers and stuff before you go on the plane. So, yeah. <laughs> and then last but not least, the last uh, shop on this side is Happy Heaven Bakery. So, if you want to have like a cake or, or cookie or something, this is your place. So you can see we've got baked goods, we've got cookies, we've got cakes, we've got pumpkin pie. I know that's mushroom stew, but it, it kind of looks like ice cream so yeah and then I've got some little tables in here just in case if you want that so that's the last there, there are also more restaurants on the other side as well and more like shops and stuff so then when we reach the end we've got these bigger gates which are, are meant to accommodate bigger planes so as you can see right here we've got Delta Airlines flight 437 going to London England and this is a Boeing 737 I mean a 747 as you can see because it has the little hump with the second floor so I figured all of you guys probably want to see the inside of my Boeing 737 and my Airbus A380 which we'll take a look at. that's on the other side of the airport we'll take a look at that oh my gosh can it please stop raining look at how many times I've had to clear the weather in this video alone but yeah let's go ahead and take a look at our Boeing 747 so I need to remember my plane names my plane names more <laughs> so in the Boeing 737, instead of there being a cockpit right here, this is actually like the first class area, so I've kind of spaced out the seats a little more. I still have like tray tables and stuff, but yeah. And then also in, in Boeing 737s, there's three rows instead of two of seats. So as you can see, there's like a middle seats and then there's the window seats. Once again, all of them have tray tables, as you can see. And then we've got like little like halfway areas with the emergency exits and like kitchens and stuff got bathrooms right here and then this just goes on for a while until you get to the back where there's a bigger kitchen uh, a bathroom in there we don't need to see that though and then to get to the second floor of the plane if I go all the way over here we've got a nice little ladder going up so you can in the Boeing 7 in Boeing 747s the cockpits actually on the second floor oh, oops I didn't mean to break the door down why do I keep breaking the door down this is so stupid <laughs> But yeah, I'm on a Mac, so maybe that my trackpad is like confusing. Eh, whatever. Anyway, as you can see right here, we've got the cockpit. It's pretty much the same design as in my other planes. And then of course back here we've got more seating. Now on the top floor of the Boeing 747, it's just two columns, so yeah. And then once again, there's another kitchen back here, more emergency exits, that kind of a thing. So, yeah, let's go ahead and go back inside the airport, and I'll go ahead and show you the other side as well. Oh wow, I've already been recording for 23 minutes. That went by really fast. But yeah, okay, let's go ahead. Oh, oops. Let's go ahead and get all the way back to the center of the airport. Yeah, this airport took me one year to build. <laughs> one full year. But yeah. Okay, so then right here on the other side, we've got Dunkin' Donuts right here. Got the DD. I like the way that looks. I think that looks pretty good. Um, right here we've got a Best Buy Express, so once again, I, I've seen these in airports before, when I went to the Chicago airport, the Chicago O'Hare, I believe they had a Best Buy Express, so, that, I, I mean, this isn't like, completely like, uh, like, unrealistic, but yeah, once again, Best Buy Express, in case if you need like a simple gadget or something before going on the plane, just that kind of a thing. Once again, another arrival and departure board. Like I said, I have a lot of these around the airport. Uh, more restrooms, pretty much the same thing as over there, so don't really need to go in there again. Then right here, we've got JB Dawson's. Now, I don't know, like, how widespread JB Dawson's is, but it's like it's like a restaurant, like, located at the Christie Mall, and it is really, really good. They have, like, a bunch of options of food, and it is really good. Uh, so, yeah, they have a bar, so I, I create a bar, and then I also have just standard restaurant over here. So, yeah. Then right here, I forget what this is. Oh, this is a Starbucks. Um, I'm not a coffee fan, but I decided to create one so that people who are watching this video that are coffee fans can uh, be happy. 
right here we've got a Greenville gift shop, so this is where you can buy like souvenirs of Greenville City before leaving, or if you're coming, if you don't feel like spending a thousand dollars at like an observation deck or something, if you want to get like a model of the tallest building Greenville or something, you can come here. <laughs> and then right here, we've got a seafood restaurant. So Greenville Seafood. I pretty much got bored of names once I got to here, so I just named everything Greenville. <laughs> So yeah, now we are at the other side of the airport. This is gate 8. As you can see, this is Emirate Airlines Flight 101 to Dubai and United Arab Emirates. And as you can see, this is an Airbus A380. And this is like, I don't know what it is, but I, I really love the design of these planes, the Airbus A380s. So I, I had to build one at my airport. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and tour the Airbus A380. It's, it's very similar to the Boeing 747 in the sense that, well, you'll see when we get on. Except the cockpit in this plane is actually on the first floor, as you can see, instead of on the second floor. It still has three uh, columns of seating, just like the Boeing uh, 747. It's got like the little areas right here in between, the bathrooms and stuff. Got a kitchen back here, another bathroom. Uh, let's go ahead and go back over here. Once again, we've got the upstairs, but the upstairs in the Airbus is actually a little bit bigger, as you can see, it goes all the way to the back of the plane. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much like, that's pretty much like mostly everything in the airport. Um, the last thing I'll, I guess I'll do is, well, let's say we're arriving at the airport, because I haven't shown you the arrivals for yet. So let's say I just got, I just arrived from Dubai on Emirate Airlines. Well, I can't wait to see the city of Greenville. It's super, super excited to get to see Greenville. So coming off to the plane, uh, coming over here, open the door, close the door. <laughs> So let's just say, yay, blah, 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 walking on the walkways, I don't feel like going through this, so let's pretend we, ju we just arrived at the airport, as you can see, once you get to the center, as you can see, it tells you gates 1 through 4, so if you're getting on a connecting flight, this will help you get over there, if you need to get over there, and then as you can see right here, it says exit to the airport, ho exit to the airport, exit hotel, and transportation. So as you can see, that's where we just came from through the security, but if you're arriving, you actually go this way. So once again, I've got more seats right here, just in case. And as you can see, these doors will open from this side, but they will not open from this side. So that is how people who are arriving can leave, but the people who are coming here have to go through security. As you can see right here, we've just got like the Hilton Hotel entrance was over there. And then we've got all ground transportation straight ahead. So you can obviously take the escalators and the stairs right here to get down to the bottom floor. Or, over here, I do have elevators to get to the bottom floor right here. So if we go in here, as you can see, floor 2, let's go ahead and get in the elevator. Oh, or we can just drop down like that. <laughs> and here we are in floor 1. So, once you get down here, um, we've got some plenty of more seating right here. Um, there's actually a sign over here that tells you. So, yeah, baggage claim and the trains to city are over there. All ground ground transportation straight ahead and then the rental car companies are over here so if we go over here I've got pretty much a bunch of rental car companies I've got Enterprise, I've got Hertz right there um, I think that's, yeah that's Budget and then that's Avis right there so just got four simple rental car companies here so if you need to rent a car you can do that or if you prefer to take the Metro, the Greenville Metro, you can actually go this way so over here, as you can see, we've got the baggage claim. These are supposed to be like the little um, luggage carts that bring out your baggage from the plane. So if you didn't bring carry-on, if you brought like checked baggage, this is where you'll pick it up. And then all the way over here, we've got the Greenville Metro. So if you if you don't want to rent a car, if you just want to take the Metro into the city, simply climb up these steps. And oh, look at that, the sun setting. Perfect timing. <laughs> But we're going to set back today anyway. So anyway, climb up these steps. And then as you can see right here, these are supposed to be like little machines where you can uh, buy your tickets. Then right here is where security would sit to make sure everyone's not breaking the rule. <laughs> and then make sure everything's running smoothly. And then once you have your ticket, you s these is like the, supposed to be like a scanner thing. So like, like, you know, like the things where like the doors that open, like once you scan your ticket kind of thing. That's what that's supposed to be, and then, yeah, as you can see, um, we've got the, 
metro line going that way and going that way. So, I mean, I'm not done this yet, but for let's say we want to go to Greenville, what we do is we get out a minecart, put it right here, let's hop on board, and here we go. We, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> you can see we're crossing over the airport. There's the air traffic control tower, which we're actually gonna go inside that in just a minute. But normally this will eventually lead all the way into downtown Greenville. But as you can see right now, I mean it does, I did build it to go pretty far, but as you can see right now, the metro only goes to about, well, you'll see it in just a minute. <laughs> There's the Boeing 747. I, oh, I really like the look of that plane from the front as well. I like the look of that plane, I also like the look of the Airbus um, A380. So... Yeah, as you can see, I've built a lot of the metro, but the metro ends right about here. We're gonna go flying off in just a minute. We, <laughs> oh, oops. Uh, so, yeah. And then obviously, let's say we're coming in. So, let me go ahead and oh, I have to wait until I get to uh. Come on, get me to the red thing. There we go. Gotta get to a powered rail, and then I'll start moving faster. There we go. So then, obviously, I could be arriving into the airport, like so. So let's say I'm coming from downtown Greenville and I'm taking the metro into the airport. So here we go. We <laughs> I really loved building this airport. I mean, I eventually got tired. Like the parking garage and the roads, that all of that was like really boring to build. But man, I, I had a lot of fun building this airport. I can't, I can't wait to start the actual city. I'm super excited to start building like skyscrapers and stuff. Unfortunately, though, we still have a lot more work to do. We have still have to build like the outskirts and stuff until we can finally start building the skyscrapers. But yeah, and then as you can see, the minecart will stop here. And then let's say you want to get off, you can get off. Or if you want to keep going um, this way, you can press the button and keep going. But let me go ahead and set the weather to clear. And then I haven't, I'm just going to let that minecart go ahead, because once again the metro ends over there, I, I haven't obviously built it much further than that, but, so, yeah guys, that's pretty much everything inside the airport, um, um let's go ahead and do a little flyover, so as you can see, like, right there's the metro where we were just on, um, you can see these are, like, the skylights and stuff, this is the main terminal, I decided to leave some gates empty, because, like, realistically, in an airport, not all the gates are currently occupied. But yeah, let's do a little flyover, so you can see the different plane designs I've done, the different liveries. I've also built, like, a, some the little ground vehicles, so right here is, like, a luggage cart that's driving. <laughs> and some of the planes, yeah, like, Southwest, I've done, like, the trucks that load the food and stuff, so, like, Southwest, this truck is loading, like, the, the snacks and stuff that... Southwest serves. I also have, um, yeah, I also have these vehicles. These are supposed to be the vehicles that load luggage onto the plane. Those ones. But, yeah, and then over here, um, this is the taxiway where there's the cow city on it. <laughs> and then over here is the runway. And as you can see, this runway is extremely long. <laughs> but I had to make it extremely long because, well, in realistically, runways are long. <laughs> So yeah, and this actually, this also took me a super long time. Thankfully I did learn the Minecraft fill command, so that made a lot of this a lot easier than it would have been without it, but... <laughs> yeah, overall I'm very happy with how this airport turned out. I think this is the best airport I've ever made. I've made a bunch of airports before, but all of them ended up being like mediocre, so I was like, nah, I don't want to settle for mediocrity. I want to build something that looks impressive, and I think I did a good job here. So, yeah, actually there's one last thing I want to show you inside the airport. So let's go and go back inside. Um, let me open up this thing again. There we go. And close it. Alright, let's go back down into the airport from the metro. Alright, so if we go back over here, back towards where the elevators were for... Yeah, right here. Right here, you'll notice there's actually a door that says employees only. If you walk in here, you'll notice it's actually a hallway that leads over to the air traffic control tower. So you can see once we get over here, got a nice long stairway going to the top. So let's go ahead. 
I did make the air traffic control tower pretty tall, obviously, because I have the hotel over there, which is like six floors or seven floors tall, something like that. And I didn't want to, I wanted to make the air traffic control tower the tallest thing at the airport. So obviously, everybody would have a good view of the planes taking off and landing. We actually will get a good view up here, I promise. <laughs> oh wait, there's a ladder up here. And yeah, as you can see, guys, check out the view. <laughs> you can see, oh, I love, I love the look of that, of like watching the metro, like the train tracks just going way off into the distance. You can see over there's the hotel, over there's all the highway stuff that I built. <laughs> there's the metro going in the opposite direction. You can keep an eye on all the planes from here. Yeah, I, I, I love the view from up here. It's pretty cool. But yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, actually, I, I will go down here. Actually, I'm gonna break out this way. I'm gonna break out like that. And let me go ahead and replace the walls. Oh, a question you guys might have been asking if, is, if I made this a Let's Build series, why would I go ahead and build the airport all by myself instead of, like, showing me build the airport as part of the Let's Build? The reason why I decided not to do that was because, well, like I said, guys, this airport took me forever. If I wanted to do... A let's build series on just the airport alone it would take like probably like 50 episodes this was just crazy it took me a year to build this airport but yeah guys so I, and i also just figured yeah I, I figured to get a starting point for this city before i start doing the let's build so yeah i'm gonna try and do as many things on camera as possible from here on i may do some little things off camera like before i start the next episode i might extend the highway in both directions so that we have a little more to start with, because I don't think a lot of you guys are going to want to watch me extend the highway. But yeah, I'm hoping in the next episode we can start with like the outskirts, which I'm going to be building all the way over there at the edge of the airport. You can see I've already placed some trees around here to help like with the scenery, because I don't want to make this leave this all flat. But I've also built like trees around there to mark like the edge of the airport, so... Once you get to the edge of the airport, I think I'm gonna build like city outskirts over there, then I'm gonna build like a river, and then on the other side it's gonna be like downtown. So yeah, you guys will see will see. I I have a plan in my head for how I wanna make the city. So yeah guys, if this I, I hope you guys like I spent a long time creating this airport. I'm I'm not joking, I spent an entire year building this airport. So I really hope you guys like it. And I really hope you guys are as excited as I am for the Let's Build a City series because this is this this series. I don't even know if it's ever gonna end because I, as long as I think of stuff to add, I'm just gonna keep adding to it. This is only the start of a series that I plan to continue for as long as possible. So yeah, guys. Um, unfortunately, though, this is pretty much it for the Let's Play series. Um. If you um, enjoy this video and are excited to see the rest of my Let's Build a City series, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so that you will get notified once I upload part 2 for Let's Build a City. So yeah guys, um, I really hope you like, you like this airport. For those of you guys wondering, I'm sure I'm probably going to get a lot of questions asking if I'm going to make this like a downloadable world or if I'll make it like a server or something. I'm not 100% sure, I haven't really thought about that yet. But I'm sure at some point, once I make like a lot of the city, I'll probably will eventually maybe think about turning it into like a server or turning it into a downloadable world so that you guys can check it out on your own if you want to. But yeah, guys, once again, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy this and are excited for the future videos that go along with this series, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so that you will get notified once I upload the next part. So yeah guys, let, as we end this video, let me just go ahead and get an epic aerial view of the airport. So yeah guys, once again, thanks for watching, I will see you in the next part. Bye!